You say you want to keep baby Martin from Sheridan so she won't get upset, but there's more to it than that, isn't there? <clears throat> no, I don't know what you... Excuse me. Hello? Yes? Yes, I'm running the B&B while Grace Bennett's in Europe. How can I help you? Polite figured it out. <laughs> she knows that baby Martin is Sheridan's son by Louise. And once Sheridan holds him close, she's gonna know it too. So the jig is up, little Miss Jumping Jack. <laughs> Oil lies, kidnapping, threats, attempted murder, catching up to you, Missy. No, thank you for calling. Bye-bye. Pilar, I was just telling Mother that we should be getting home. Well, so I actually, I'm not finished talking with you, Beth. There's another reason you didn't want the baby to go inside the book cafe, isn't there? Of course there is. I mean, Luis is in there with Sheridan, and I just didn't want to interrupt. You're not telling the truth. Oh, how right you are, Pilar! <laughs> the real reason you don't want the baby anywhere near Sheridan is because she once believed baby Martin was her son. And as tragic as the loss of her infant was, Luis and her are not the only ones who suffered. Since then, you have suffered as well, and, and for that, I am very sorry. Oh. Well, yeah, you're right. You're right. I, I, I really cannot imagine how difficult it was for you for, to have Sheridan claiming that baby Martin was really her son and not yours, especially when she was nursing him. I mean, no mother could blame you for feeling a little bit sensitive and overprotective under the circumstances. Although... I cannot blame Sheridan for wanting my grandson to be hers. He is a beautiful, beautiful boy. Can you not see Luis in his eyes? Oh, yes! Betty Boo here is really thrilled at how much little Martin takes after his daddy, aren't you, little Snookums? <laughs> oh. Your daughter's lovely, Edna. I'm sure in time the baby will look just like his mother, too. <laughs> 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 Another bullet dodged by my evil spawn. But you are not. You are not going to get away with this forever. Because one of these days, Sharon is going to hold little Martin in her arms. And she is going to know for sure that he is her son. That is not going to happen. Oh, oh. I'm not going to let her get anywhere near my baby. I'm going to keep my baby no matter what I have to do. She's coming out. <gasps> How am I gonna keep her from holding the baby? You're not. Time is up. Tick tock, tick tock, boom. <laughs> Where's the baby? Oh, um, Pilar took him to the B and B with her. You know she's staying there now. Yeah, I heard. You really wanted to see that baby, now, didn't you? I heard him crying, but you dismissed him. Oh. Hmm. I better get going myself. Already. I promised Antonio. Mm. Um, take care. Uh, Luis should be stopping by later on if little Martin is home by then. Oh, I'll, I'll make sure that he is. Pilar just wanted to spend some time with her grandson. Mm. What time's good for you? Anytime. I mean, I'm just happy to... Have you spent time with your little boy? Well, I'll see you later then. All right. Well, bye. Bye. All right, well, I better go get that coffee and uh, help Hank unload the truck. I'll see you later, though. So you're really coming over? Yes, I'm coming over. I told you I want to spend some more time with Martin, OK? OK. Well, I'll see you later. OK. All right. Bye. Let's see. see, Mother, he's coming over to see me tonight. No. He is coming over to spend time with his son, not you. What's the difference? Oh, knock, knock. Is there anybody home? That baby, 
is Sheridan's, not yours. Louise doesn't know that, and neither does Sheridan. And they never will if you know what's good for you. Oh, Missy. Missy. <laughs> Louise and Sheridan do not need me to get them back together. You saw the way they looked at each other. They are as much in love today as they ever have been in spite of all your evil, malicious acts. No, you're wrong, Mother. Sheridan is committed to Antonio, and, and she has said that time and time again. Oh, words yep. don't mean a thing if they ain't got that bling, oh. Messy, okay? Now, sooner or later, Sheridan is going to remember. And she and Louise are gonna go away together. They're gonna take Martin away from you. And you, Bethy, you are gonna end up being the old maid I've always told you you would be. 